Welcome everybody to a new video. Today we have uh, some new tweaks again named resource sets. It's not mine, I just tested them. Those tweaks belongs to Kizimo again. And I took them to conduct some uh, measurements and verify if they can help us or not. The most important thing now is if they exist or not, I think. By default, yes, they exist, but with different uh, values, with different uh, flags, if we can say that. Uh, they're using different names. For instance, as you see here, we have the optimized version. So if we take this, let me take the revert file. We see the differences. For instance, we have on the CPU here, on the, this string, we have the soft cap low as argument. Here we have as argument the amount above normal. So we change those settings. This file uh, created from the registry, which means I just export a specific uh, directory, the specific path, and I created this revert file. Um, now, the simple question you may have is that is it the same for all the Windows versions? Likely, yes. Um, personally, on my personal, for personal use machine, I use Windows 10 Enterprise. Um, and for my test, I use Windows 11 Pro 2004, uh, the latest version. So I saw the same things. The revert file is from Windows 11. Uh, so theoretically, you may have the same settings. If you want to be sure, you can't export the revert settings from your own registry, from your own operating system. And also, you can do the changes. So after we verify that they exist by default, we can move on to the main uh, part of this video, the analysis. Um, the outline for today include Quick explanation, hardware software tools, terminology, latency analysis, FPS analysis, and finally conclusion. The quick explanation is this register settings modify resource policy sets in Windows, which define how the system allocates CPU, memory, I.O., and other resources to different types of applications and background tasks. For instance, the CPU set to unmanage above normal, prioritizing tasks with higher than usual CPU access. The external resources marked as resource intensive, indicating these tasks can heavily use system resources without restrictions. The flags set to foreground prioritizing these tasks as if they are actively in use. Importance defined as critical, making these processes essential for smooth system operation. And finally, the I.O. and memory set to no cap, removing limitation on disk memory usage. So those processes from the moment you change their priority parts, they can get as much power they need without limitations from the operating system or many mechanisms. So that's the theory. Uh, the hardware and the software and the tools, you can see them here. The terminology is the same as in the previous video, five minutes in idle, five tests of 30 seconds each for FPS and for latency 10 tests of 10 seconds each. So let's move to the Fortnite latency. I took three drivers, the direct kernel, the endos kernel, the second direct driver. As you see here, guys, things are almost the same. And on some cases, things are better uh, by default. Not always, but things are very, very close together. On endos kernel, again, we have the same concept. Things are so close, we have almost zero difference. And finally, again, for the second direct driver, we have the same uh, concept. In CS2 latency, we have, again, the same concept, nothing changed, same things in both cases. Uh, same for Endo Scanner, it's like the, nothing didn't happen on my system, same thing before and after. And finally, the second direct driver, again, same thing, we don't see any difference. So on the part of latency, we can't say that we have any difference based on those two drivers that I tested. On the FPS part, we see some improvement again. 
Like the previous video, we see a significant FPS boost, in my opinion. It's good, especially for someone with low end system or someone who need to reach the limit of your monitor heads, for instance, 240. So this tweak may help you always based on my system uh, results. Maybe uh, we have some inaccuracies. Maybe your system not take the same uh, performance advantage. May you see uh, zero difference. May you see worse uh, results. So I can't guarantee the improvement that you see now. But based on my results, as you see, average FPS, 1% loss, 0.1% loss, we see improvement. Same thing for CS2, but here again we have a small uh, variations between the results. We don't see so many differences, but again we have an FPS boost uh, in average FPS, 1% loss, 0.1% loss. The other metrics are actually very close together, are almost the same, so I think it's waste time to uh, give more explanation. But the SD Dev, as you see in uh, PS2, we have an improvement because we cared SD Dev to be lower. So on this side, we see that we have an improvement. So in both cases, we see an improvement in FS part, but also we see an improvement in ST Dev. The frame times are, are almost the same. So we're coming to my conclusion that say this tweak is good for FPS, but in latency part we don't see any improvement at all. And that's the video actually. Short video, I think. Um I think you should give it a try, probably. For sure you know that they exist by default because they are registered in the registry, they exist by default. So you can be uh comfort to use them of course you need to test you need to see if they can help you for real or not because because i say that something is good doesn't mean it's good you need to test you need to repeat uh, the test and so on to be sure um uh, and before i close the video i want to mention that on the future videos not on the next videos on the future videos I will change my terminology again and probably I will add some statistics uh, formulas to uh, confirm if something, it's, if something is accurate or not or actually I want to improve my accuracy on my test so by this way I can I have many tools that I can learn and found and use them in order to improve my accuracy and my test terminology i think it's very important for me and for you that you see the videos and maybe you don't want to test or you haven't the knowledge so in order to improve my accuracy i will add some new methods new tools and so on you will see them on the future anyways thanks for watching guys i uh, hope you enjoyed that i will leave them everything in github so you can check them and also the power plan i will provide it on the description and that for today guys thanks for watching see you soon